Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on Monday the 29th of April 2024, and here we are for our only new mod for today. This is the Star of Brutus 18,000. This is by Star of Brazil and eConnect Modding. This is a new collaboration that eConnect e Modding is doing. Collaborate with brands in Brazil, we know recently they had one with Cakes IH Brazil. And now they're doing it with Star Brazil with including more Star equipment in FS22. Obviously Star and that, and obviously because it's Star Brazil, it's more of a South Af South African South American brand in that. And yeah, these are extremely popular in South America. So yeah, description sort of goes a little bit saying it's a precision distributor of limestone and fertilizer, and it guarantees. Less product lo loss due to wind gusts because in South America, compared to your climates around, you know, North America, Europe, and that, the weather, especially when it can be quite windy during times of advocating the fertilizer and that when they're planting their crops. But anywho, so yeah, the Star Brutus 18,000 costs 78,000, slot count is 18, goes down to 1. I find this under tools. And fertilizer spreaders. And yeah, also what I'll do is during this mod review, I'll explain why there's only one mod today. So yeah, Star Brutus 18,000, 78 grand, goes down to one. It's a 9 meter width distributor, works at 9 miles an hour, can hold lime or fertilizer as mentioned, weighs 9.1 tons. So yeah, when you compare that to your other base game stuff. It is two to three times as much as weight. But yeah, this is a realistic equipment and there is a reason why. Especially makes some slot counts as well. 18 compared to 7, 6, 7, 6 and that. Because yeah, this is a detailed bit of kit. Configurations are extremely limited to Will Brand. So you've got BKTs, Trailer Board, Verge Lines and that is it. Will Brands doesn't affect the price, so what you see is what you get. So, anywho, I'm showing off. Basically, I got one, I think this is lime here, lime and fertilizer. I can see it unfolds, so rather than you know what you typically see with FS32, where it just scatters the fertilizer in the wind, this puts it down more directly and yeah, more directly. And uh, yeah, with Sire Brazil, it is a realistic mod. Including the sound, like the screeching and that. Screeching, cre creaking of the metal, not sure what the word is. Creaking, I think it is. But that, that is absolutely nice. I can see the wheels rotate on the axle, the hub axle rotates. Lures down, so it is a, as you can see, a direct application of fertilizer and lime. We do have some mods like this, but nothing with the level of detail, like, get lime on it, things like the chains and that. Again, I'm not sure if the video quality is showing it from how I'm seeing it whilst recording, but it is an absolute beaut. And yeah, I've got two tracks here, I've got the Massey Ferguson. M A S M F A S because this requires 200 horsepower. I think the Massey is 205. Yeah, 205. And I was I still got my what I used to join the Unreal 800 809 horsepower. So yeah, we see it unfold. So yeah, works with precision farming that. So anywho, we get the fires out, go into the field. So yeah, now we are directly applying the fertilizer into the ground. I can see it sprays it directly into the ground. You get a little bit of a dust in that. But rather than scatter it into the wind and that, and then obviously losing said fertilizer. This directly puts it down, so you're guaranteed, as in real life, it'll be 
you're putting the exact amounts down and you're not wasting products of it either over applying fertilizer or in most real life cases particles into the wind and yeah we're going to your field go to someone else's field but regardless it is a waste and even with the maximum application of the farming of around 600 kilograms per hectare we are not using just up on one field but even then yeah five six hundred kilograms we are not using a lot and yeah I'm doing it at nine and ten miles an hour next I'm gonna get the lime out and basically I'll just show it as you would use a re again releasing equipment I've seen let's, let's just go up to top speed if we can with this so yeah, let's say I should just go up to 20 miles an hour. And um, excuse me at 20 and then break. Break, I'm breaking. So yeah, it has that realistic weightness to it, so it's not a unreal capacity or a false weight bit of equipment. What you see is what you get. Okay, I admit I am using BKT wide tires with weights. So the best single tires you can get because the BKTs are the best tires in FS22. I am done a video on it, but I know I think people like Joseph Farmer's done it. I think Farmer Cops probably done it with the testing mill brands and that. But yeah, so you've seen the fertilizer going down. Now let's look at the lime. So I admit numbers may be a slightly skewed in that because I am using precision farming. And yeah, I have not prepped the fields at all with this, so. How the fields were is how they are. The only difference is, like, for example, this cotton field was harvested when I was doing prep work and that for getting cotton bells. Since at the moment we don't have any liftable bells by use. Even though I think he's going to do that on a future update, but that's not going to be for a while yet, so do get your hopes up for it being soon, but who knows. Anywho, see the lime's going down. And again, especially with lime, lime is infamous of using tons of it quickly. And yeah, we are using 5.26 tons per hectare. But yeah, there's quite a bit of a discrepancy. But yeah, with precision farming, obviously once you put your lime down in that, it does go down a bit over the years and that, over the harvest. And I think it's every two or three harvests where you put another application down but again with precision farming it's down to you how you want to play the game and yeah obviously affects your yield bonuses and that slightly your environment score and how much you get as a environment score bonus but yeah as terms of why when I say why why only one mod today as far as aware I can gather from giants this is, of course, it, it just released an update to the Valstrad Sphere RS. Only update to it 1.002, whatever it is. Fixes with animation, but that I'm not interested in. This is a scheduled mod release today, so why? Because, yeah, why only one mod today? Simple put, because with tomorrow being the release with the Farmer Production DLC and the negativity that's had and uh, yeah i am a vocal critic of it yes i am a giant's partner i am part of a giant's partner program and but regardless most of my content is aimed towards you the viewers even now as i'm recording this, this is going to be my first video up with the channel being fully remonetized after my absence yet yeah, my main source of income is going to be from you lot the viewers and yeah, it is so broken, the, uh, not precision farming, the farm production DLC. Obviously, with content creators like DJ Goam, especially Virtual Farmer, who I watched his live stream when he did the other day, Farmer Klein, and even like some Farmer Cop, who done a absolute detailed video on it. So, go to their channels and watch their obviously early access to it, because we're on PC and that. Yes, I am on PC, so technically I could have asked for, but I'm not, I'm not on PC, but I do have FS32 on PC, so technically I could have asked for early access to it. But when I realised that, uh, yeah, I forgot oh, yeah, the FS32 on PC, because 
I'm a console player, I'm a console content creator for and for most. And yeah, it's so broken with things like even things that I love about it, the unrealistic pricing bugs and that where even though you're only allowed to sell two thousand years of product and that it lets you after a couple of muck sleep cycles and that let you sell a thousand years of cheese, I think it was, on the Farm Sim Farm Sim Show podcast with Clutch and DJ where it was like half a million for a thousand litre pallet. So, with two thousand litres, you can sell a day. You can be where I am right now, where it is the maximum, maximum amount of money you can get at just under a billion. So, yeah, Giants are working on an update to this. I know they're working on an update, as far as I can gather from my sources and details. So, yeah, I'm hoping it does get fixed in that because. So many parts of that pack, I guarantee was not properly tested. It can't be tested. Virtual Farmer watches Aussie livestream about it. He'll go into more details about it. But yeah, it's so broken in so many ways of where, personally, don't buy it. If you're gonna buy it and you're on PC, use the farmer use the code farmer envoy, where it costs no more to you, but I get a little bit of a commission on it. But apart from that, personally save your money save those eight euros or eight pounds whatever it is for literally anything else I'm, i mean anything else like literally yes yeah, eight euros i just looked online coffees i get a couple of cups of coffee or from starbucks like one cup of coffee maybe in that with their ridiculous price on the coffees nowadays it's been a while since i've been to starbucks but i know giants are working on an update Ain't gonna be for at least another week or so because obviously with giants them tested it themselves. I know they got brand new testers on it who are I don't know whether experienced or not. I just know they got new testing teams and that to get the most out quicker, which is good. Giants need to do that, especially with Pharmacy 25 coming out this year. Hasn't been announced yet, but we you know we all know it's gonna come out this year. This giants today year or something. But yeah, even once Giants has tested it and fixed it, or the modders fix it, sorry. Because yeah, the modder is... Oh yeah, of course, yeah, how could I forget? Dutch Mod Incorporated, all your popular Dutch mods now that everyone loves. According to the most popular downloads, even better popular card mods and that. Which is an argument I am not going to go with because... Oh uh, yeah, it's recording mods and that, yeah. Certain maps I get and that, but... Yeah, I'm not going to it. So yeah, even once it's all fixed now by the modders and Giants has actually tested it this time, hopefully, for crying out loud. It suddenly gets sent off to Sony and Microsoft for them to approve of it approve of it. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe a PC patch could get dropped earlier, but for consoles, it's got to go to respective consoles, so obviously in this case, Sony and Microsoft, and that takes even if they pull their fingers out their fucking asses, it's going to take a couple of days for them to approve it and send back to Giants saying yes, they approve of the update. Things like making sure it all works well. Which I'm not sure exactly how it works, but make sure it is all approved in that, in a way I mean. So yeah, that's going to take a few days alone, so... You're talking about, we're on Monday now, so let's say you start fixing it today after all the reviews and that over the week over the weekend and before the weekend last week so yeah i won't see it for at least another week for it to be updated so personally the only thing that really interests me is the wash plan of it but apart from that the mini game idea with the cell point in that i get it I, personally i do like it it has an option things like that but apart from that, there's nothing else shouting out about it. Yes, I know Granny Mrs. Omatana is happy with the name change. She has said publicly she doesn't mind the name change of her farm production mods. So that's, I'm still going to quit the farm production mods. I know it's yeah, the yard production now, but for me personally, I call it the farm production mod. This DLC, the farm production pack, is an oversight by Dutch Modding and Giants. Both of them should have known there's already a farm production pack mod on ModUp before they submit this off, but 
for whatever reason, I don't know, they've overlooked on this. And, and yeah, overall, it is just a fucking waste. At the moment, yeah, save your eight euros, pounds, dollars, whatever it is, you know, currency. And it should get anything else, another DLC, whatever it is. But, rant right over in that, because, yeah. Anywho, so yeah, Stara, <laughs> let's actually get on to the actual mod and that. So, this is the mod review of Star Brutus 18,000. And a little rant. I thought about doing a separate video, but I thought, okay, I'll include this and that. So I'll include the title and the thumbnail a little bit and that. So, yeah, Star Brutus 18,000 at the end of the day is an awesome bit of kit. A realistic and detailed mod. Awesome sounds, awesome animations, works well, works well as as intended. And yep, yeah, even with the fall now, you can sort of see can't really pull off until the wheels are straight. So yeah, download this mod, and of course this is only mod of the day. This is the mod of the day. Ballsy with no competition apart from a minor update to the Valtrice Spirit R 300 s by John Software. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed this mod review. Find this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Evolution Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.